Hi again, everyone. Nir here from Neo4j Developer Relations. In last week's video, we introduced the idea of a news graph as a semi-automated solution to the fake news problem. In this video, we will go over the design of our graph and the motivations behind it. When deciding on a model for any graph, we need to think about the important elements and relationships in our data set. So let's work through this process together. In our case, we're looking at a few things. Articles are obviously important since they are the primary source of our data. Of course, when examining an article, we also want to consider the source of that article and the author who wrote it. So we add both of them as nodes in our graph and we connect them to our articles, to our article nodes with appropriate relationships like wrote for author to author relationships or published for source to author relationships. It's also important to know which authors write for which sources. So we want to connect those nodes in our graph as well. Now this is starting to look pretty good, but there are still a lot of important elements missing. We'd also like to know which articles are about specific people or topics, so we'll want to include those in our graph as well. Note that we'll use the label entity as a generalization for people, places, or organizations. And we'll connect our article nodes to them with the relationship mentions so that we can effectively traverse our graph from topics to articles. Lastly, we know that our solution will rely heavily on stance detection. So for each article, we'd like to extract its most important claims and add those to our graph as well. We'll connect them to entities and topics contained in them for added traversal capability. Note that in order to generalize better, we will connect claims to articles with the relationship called stance on. The reason for this is so that we can use them, use the same relationship to connect a claim to articles other than the one it originated from. If we find that those articles support, contradict, or discuss the claim as well, we can specify which by adding the type property to the stance relationship. A few other important properties to add will be the IDs for unique nodes. We will need titles and URLs for our articles, as well as the body of the article. We will also need names for our sources, authors, entities, and topics. To keep, from, to keep things brief, we refrain from going over all of the remaining properties and instead just add them to our schema. Now this is a truly empowering graph. In the next half of the video, we will show how useful this graph structure can be. We'll start by showing its relevance to the stance detection problem. The basic stance detection algorithm, as proposed by the fake news challenge, detects the opinion of a single article towards a single claim and classifies it as either agree, disagree, discuss, or unrelated. The basic algorithm is impressive, but it's not super useful on its own. Instead, imagine being able to evaluate the stances of multiple articles towards all of the claims from a single article. By combining our stance detection model with graph technology, we'll be able to extend our algorithm to complete this much more useful task. To showcase some of the potential for our news graph, we will switch from this schema visual to one with multiple instances of each of our nodes. Note that for the sake of clarity, we have chosen not to include the names of relationships or any of our properties in this diagram, although it is implied that they exist as described by our schema design. In order to complete our extended stance detection problem, we'll first need to narrow down our search to all articles that might be related to our target article, which we've outlined here in red. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will define two articles as being similar if they mention at least two of the same topics or entities. By traversing from our target, out from our target node, we find that two articles in our diagram match this description. Neo4j's query language, Cypher, uses pattern matching to make searches like this simple and intuitive. We can easily apply a similar approach to return all claims from our target article. And from there, all we have to do is iterate through the related articles and apply the basic stance detection algorithm with respect to each claim from our target article, then combine those results to get an overall article-to-article -article stance. That's all for today. Tune in next week for an overview on how we construct this graph from a set of articles gathered from the web.